Hi there, this is Diana Silva. Welcome to my segment on helpful tips and how you're gonna look amazing on camera. So first of all, you need to turn on your cameras, especially right now during this crisis. It helps people feel more connected to you, more engaged, and look at YouTube. There's millions and millions of hours on YouTube. There's a reason why people watch video. So turn them on. You never think about, or I've never thought about, going into a conference room with a bag over my head because I'm afraid of people to see my face. So effectively, that's what you're doing when you don't turn on your camera. So please, if you absolutely, any way you can, turn it on. And here's five tips to help you look your best on camera. Number one, have a light background behind you. Light wall, light colors, if possible, white. Turn on as many lights and windows, open them up and get light on you so that you can look welcoming, engaged, present, not scary, and not light-sided with, you know, anyway, just turn on the lights, get a white ba background behind you if you can, really super helpful. Number two, look into the camera. If I just turn my head, I'm talking to over here, you don't feel like I'm talking to you anymore, right? So look into the camera. It's not comfortable, but figure it out. You can do this. Number three, keep the camera at eye level. That's when it's the most engaging and it looks like I'm actually talking to you. If, if the camera is way up here, like, look, is that fun? <laughs> no, not good. How about down here? Also, not good. Get it at eye level. Figure it out. Right now, my camera or excuse me, my laptop is actually sitting on an old box because I'm in my kitchen and yeah, or just use whatever you can and get it at eye level. Number four, buy one of these. It's a camera strip for your laptop, I'm sure your computer, or use a piece of paper. And the reason why you want one of these is because in the event that a child comes into the room with ice cream dripping all over their face or some other embarrassing thing, and you need to get off camera as quickly as possible, you can. My, this one is for my laptop. It has a magnetic strip. It just goes on to my computer like that. Snap, did you hear it snap into place? And you slide it. Wow, that was fast. I'm gone. And you slide it again, and I'm back. It's super easy. They're really inexpensive on Amazon. And the final tip, number five, is when you are using video conferencing, most applications that you're using like Zoom and WebEx and others, they have little thumbnails of the other people that you're talking to. So it's really helpful to move those little thumbnails up as close as you can get them to your camera so that when you're talking to that other person, you're not looking down because you think you're looking at your picture and that's what you're used to. You're looking at, the cam being, looking at them while keeping your eyes as close to that eye level of the camera as possible so you look like you're talking to them. All right, I hope those were helpful. I'm just gonna repeat them really quickly. Light background, look into the camera, keep the camera at eye level, get a camera strip or a piece of paper, anything to avoid those embarrassing moments, and get those thumbnail images of your other meeting members as close as you can. And you know what? We all can do this. We can all turn our cameras on. I know I've been talking about this in the workplace forever. People have been so hesitant, but right now, seriously, people need to see us. We need to be seen. And it's just a great way to connect with people. All right. If there's anything else that you want me to talk about, please again, mention it in LinkedIn or here on YouTube. Be well, and together we can get through this.